Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3, The Seven Deadly Sims. I'm Landros, and, um, poor girl, I got her out here just freezing herself to death, don't I? <laughs> That's just typical of me. Alright, so anyway, she's not got the cold mood yet, so, but she is reading that book, which is the pregnancy book. She wanted to do it, uh, she asked to do it, so I'm going to let her do it. Okay, David, you're over here working, you're doing all what you got to do, but you, they need to feed you, which I don't know if they do that at um, the criminal career, but hopefully they will. Okay, now, weather is harsh today, but the nice thing is, oh no, is this the first day? Yeah, the first day of winter. You know, I love winter, I love to look at it, but I don't like what it does to my game because it is just brutal on it. And of course, with this coupled with um, Fraps, if you guys know, I'm, I record with Fraps, and that thing, it is just a killer on your program, so, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, Alessa, when you get done, I already told you to eat and go home. There's really not a whole lot else I can do. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see. Wow. Look at that snow coming down. In real life, this would be beautiful to be at. But you know, right now, I don't want to be in it. <laughs> I don't want to do it right now at all. Okay. Um, you're not friends with those people anymore? Well, that's all right. You don't have to be friends with them. They probably weren't worthy anyway. Okay. So we're about to have this baby. And I'm assuming that... It's going to happen in this episode. I have no idea what I'm going to name this child. Now, I've been doing all my other LPs where I've been naming them in alphabetical order. Uh, you want to go to Egypt? Mm, we could, but... <clears throat> you know what? We could and not do the adventures, but... Um, mm, what would be the point? It's a lot of money just to get a little bit of a job increase and a raise. It'd have to be a really good raise. And I don't think it's going to be worth it because Egypt is expensive. So I'm going to say no. <coughs> and you guys know me. That's harsh because I love to travel. I'll travel for anything. But, you know, for right now, we we're actually working on something. Man, girl, yeah, you are getting cold now. I figured it. <coughs> I figured it was going to happen. <coughs> I apologize about this cough. I'm going back to the doctor. And I'm telling him right now, I don't care what he's got to do. If he's got to, like... Um, give me something extremely super strong. I mean, what he's given me now has just not done anything. And it's the third time I've gone. I can't I can't keep paying these copays. But that's okay. I digress. Alright, David. <laughs> Is that you in there? I don't know. Alright, we're in the middle of this thing because it's all blacked out. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot else going on with them. Um... I hate the fact that it's just so bad. It's so cold and nasty outside. Really not much we can go do. <clears throat> Come on, girl. Finish this book up. Come on. It's so close. At least, oh gosh, if she was to freeze to death. But I don't think it would kill a pregnant woman. I really don't. I think that at this point it would just make her stop and she'd just go ahead and go home. <coughs> now, we are trying for a girl. So um, I think we are. Yeah, we're trying for a girl. So we need to actually continue eating these watermelons. Do what we got to do. And when you get home, you can have another one. So let me go with you because I know that we got to get you there. Uh, let's see. Watermelons right here. When you get home, have another one. You probably don't need to eat anything. Why are you in this little car? Why are we in this horrible little car? You have a really, really, really not Where is your car? <laughs> Where is your car? What did you do? I think you. I think David's got it. Oh, that's not good, Alessa. You do not let him take your car. All right, let's see. Yeah, he took your car. And I thought he had a better car. I guess I sold it out of the inventory and didn't even realize it. I'll go back in and I'll look again. But I, oh, you know what happened? I bet Jaden and Georgia took it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be typical? Jaden takes our car because we took his. And then he came and we gave him his car back. He didn't bring our car back. I'm accusing him. I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch the video. I probably did. <laughs> That's too funny. Probably so. Because they did go on a double date and they met us somewhere. Unless that's it. Is that the car? No, there it is. Ugh, I don't get you. Alright, this is supposed to be your car. This is supposed to be, actually, can we swap it out? Um, you give her the car. I know, I know, she needs to be doing something. We're playing musical cars. Okay, now with you, this is yours. And where's that other car? Did you take it out? No. <laughs> Alright, there you go. This is your car. 
Where are you going? You're not going to go work out, are you? <laughs> if you want to come out, uh, go over here and check the mail. Let's see. Do we have anything to actually turn in? No. Let's go ahead and accept some gifts, see if we got any. I think I do. I'm not quite 100% sure, but we'll take a look and see what we got. We need to work on this house, but <clears throat> get it ready for the kids. And we got plenty of money. We can do that. Okay. Look at all these we got to go through. <clears throat> all right, guys. Settle in. Hang on. I got to sneeze. Oh, yeah, that wasn't a sneeze. I don't know what that was, but it was bad. Okay, from Asteria, it says, For the most neediest of your sim families. Um, Let me save it for genetics, because they're coming up right after this. So I'll take both of yours in the next LP. Because these guys, they got 25000 I can actually work with them. Okay, from Tviparus, it's the message from the game. I'm going to take it right here. Maybe not. <laughs> we got a flamingo. Thank you so much. The pink flamingo. And, oh, I can send gifts back. It's so nice to be able to send gifts back. All right, so thanks for the pink flamingo. Uh-oh. For Alessa in Monte Vista. Okay. <clears throat> okay, from TV Purse again, message from the game. Let's see what we got. We got a no snooze alarm clock. I'm going to go ahead and just pass until I get somebody that um, I have not sent one back to yet. From D T Viperus or One Viperus. I'm sorry. Here I am thinking it's a T. I need new glasses. <laughs> one Viperus. All right. Let's go ahead. Of course, I don't wear glasses. I wear reading glasses. All right. So we got the guitar. Thank you so much for that. All right. We've got from Asteria. Um, let's see. I do want it here. Because maybe this will be something we need. This is actually the it's a message from the game, but it's an elixir. Let's see what we got. Skill booster. Um, I really need the large and in charge and the lean and mean in this one. That's what I need. From one viperous again. Let's go ahead and take it again. <laughs> we got another car. <laughs> okay, so we got a van. Thank you so much. You sent us a really nice car. And that's fine. We got a car to pass down to the next generation. Thank you so much for that. Okay, <clears throat> this is going to be for Perfect Genetics. It's coming right up. From ABC Girl 25 this is the message from the game. And we just got, I got another TV. I got a bunch of those TVs so far. So thank you so much for that. From, oh wait, I was supposed to be sending you one back. All right, ABC Girl, where you at? How do I do this? <laughs> how do I send a gift? Um, how do I send one on my own? All right, stop for a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to go in and actually go back and make sure I knew exactly who it was. Oh, wow. I completely spaced on that. I am so sorry. All right, so thank you. Thanks for the gift. What was that gift? I just completely spaced out. I blanked. I've had insomnia. I've been up for, I can't even count how many hours at this point. Okay, it was a skill booster. Thanks for the skill booster. I believe it was. <laughs> for Alessa in Monte Vista. Oh, I can't believe I almost just blanked out and oh, there we go. Send it. Yes, I want to send it. Okay, Alessa, go ahead and accept some, some gifts again. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. <clears throat> okay, moving back on up. From Doctor Who Fangirl 30. Hopefully you are still recording. <laughs> Here's a little something from my sim to any of yours. You know, I'm always recording. Just about. If I'm not at work, I am recording. <laughs> not really. I actually do a, quite a quite a few other things. You guys might think I do nothing but record, but no, remember, I got insomnia. I do this pretty much late at night. So Alright, so we got um hundred dollars, we got a can of cola, we got Something that they're going to throw up and get nauseous from, and a wall shelf. So thank you so much for that. And um, how would I write all that down? <laughs> all right. Thanks for the ah, thanks for the four item combo gift, including uh, one hundred for Alessa in Monty. Vista. Wasn't that a sneaky way to do that? <laughs> I wasn't going to write everything down. I'm sorry. I can't do it. All right. So Dr. Who Fangirl again. Um, hopefully you're still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay, I'm still going. Uh, what do we got? <clears throat> we got a bowling lane. Thank you so much for that. And I've already sent you one, so I'm going to keep on moving up. Okay. I'm going to hold that for Riverview or um, Perfect Genetics. They're coming right up. 
and I'll hold that. Hey, you know what? I should take this one. All right, I'm going to take this one here. Doctor Who Fangirl again. And we just got the Age of Instant. <laughs> I don't want to use that one. So <laughs> that will actually age him up to an elder right away. I'll take the rest of yours over in Perfect Genetics coming right up after this one. Okay. Is that Mav 551 <clears throat> or Mave? Mav? Mave? Maeve? I don't know. Really enjoy your LPs. You put so much thought into them, which makes them really fun to watch. All right. Well, um, tonight, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've got anything in my in my head to do anything. Oh, you got us a treadmill. Thank you so much. All right. I'm glad you're watching them. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I'm just a little loopy right now. All right. So let's go ahead and say thanks for the treadmill for Alessa in Monte. Lista. Perfect. So I didn't think they had anything. <clears throat> okay, from Angel UY twenty three. Yay! I love the Klepto King. Uh, the Klepto King one. It was fun and hard. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm actually looking forward to getting back in there and doing uh, some more of those episodes. So it looked like a fun challenge, and I really enjoyed setting it up. Okay, we got the tabletop phone. Let's see if I can send anything back. Yes, I can. <clears throat> Thanks for the tabletop phone for Alessa in Monte Vista. Ah, Monte Vista. Okay. And then moving right on up from Schlee 404 for any LP. Think you are gifting all your lamps now. <laughs> I have had two off of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I got plenty of them, so I'm sorry you're getting them back. All right, you just gave us a Diva doll poster. I get a lot of paintings and posters, so uh, it's kind of funny which ones you come in, which ones are very rare. All right, from Schlee 404 for any LP. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, another painting. Thank you so much for that. Now, I'm going to take your next one, Imperfect Genetics, coming right up because you sent them three, and I'm going to just use that one. Um, use that for them over there because they need more money. From Tara Lee Gray Jr., Happy Simming. Well, Happy Simming right back to you. And <laughs> there's my lamp. I knew it was coming. All right, so thank you so much for that. All right, going ahead and going on up to Catamarie051789. Thanks for the $2,000 for Cat in Riverview. Use for anybody who needs it. All right, well, I'll take it here um, <clears throat> just because you never know if it's going to show up in the next one or not. It's a toy pirate chest, and it will be needed here. Thank you so much. So let's see. I think I can send. Nope, I'm done. Can't send anything back. All right, from high school grad one, I hope that any of your families can use this. I'm a fan of your LPs. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you just gave us a couple of hang him high ceiling pennants. Thank you for those. All right, moving through. Let's see what we got. Shy Girl 93816. Hope this is something worth opening. All right. It's a sleeping gnome McNulty or McMulty. I don't know exactly what it does, but I like it. So thank you so much for that. From uh, Pokemon Party 25. My username is stupid. I know. <laughs> anyway, this is for the perfect genetics. All right, I'm going to do that in the next LP. It's not a stupid one. <laughs> not at all. Okay, let's see. Still for perfect genetics. Uh, perfect genetics. I assume you like perfect genetics. <laughs> all right, I'll just save them all for that one. All right, from Good Sweet to any who might need it. Okay, we'll just take it right here. And we just got another wall clock. Thank you so much for that. And that is going to wrap up the gifts for us. Thank you so much. $100 in cash. We can always use it. Um, <clears throat> are she stuffed? <laughs> yes, she is. Because I'm overstuffing her. All right, tell you, why don't you go ahead and go on in here. And I believe you need to get some more of your logic done because that's what you need. Well, actually, that's what David needs. All right, we're getting that little glitch, that little tremor right there just because of um, uh, the festival thing. So the festival changes over and it does that. All right. I know you could use other things, but I'm going to let you go ahead and use Charisma. And David needs one, too. <clears throat> he's got his upstairs. I believe he's on his way home now. Did they feed you, buddy? I bet they didn't. Oh, they did. Well, aren't they nice at the criminal place? Okay. So we're going to get you home. And <clears throat> you don't really have to go to sleep right away. I don't think she does either. Oh, no. This is so nice that you guys are both on the same schedule. It's pretty good. We gotta find something for you guys to go do. Um, yeah, it would be nice if I could actually do some more with this house. Okay, tell you what. Why don't you take your wife out when she gets done with this before she actually... Uh-oh. There you go, girl. 
right, well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over here and I want you to ask her out on a date. Yeah, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. We really don't need to do this, but we're going to. <coughs> mm -hmm. See, that relationship needs to be uh, bumped up a little bit more. Let's go back over, because I like this place over here. Let's go back over here to the spa and go here with your date. Awesome. I'd love to hang out. Where do you go for fun? Well, we're going to go over here because we're going to give our wife a massage. Yeah, I could buy the massage table, but, you know, let's just go over there. We don't have to spend the money on it. We can go over there and do it there, and everybody should be happy. It's something for them. It builds their relationship, and, you know, I kind of like that. I like to keep their relationships as high as I can. Um, I know some people don't care, and some people don't really care about their needs and whatnot. But to me, that's kind of like the whole point of the game is to make sure you keep them as happy as you can keep them and try to accomplish everything you can. Um, at least that's the way I always played it. So I may be wrong, but it's <laughs> the way I like it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now, of course, I believe all this is actually frozen over. I hated that that cow plant died in here. I should go in here into Edit Town and just fix it. I wonder if I can. Well, I can't do it now because they're in the lot. Okay, isn't this... This is where it is. Oh, no, it's not in this one. It's, up, oh, it's the other one. All right, so let's take her upstairs, and let's go ahead and... Let's give a massage to your wife. Go ahead and give a deep tissue. Oh, where's she at? Woman, where'd you go? Get over here. <laughs> go over here. I want you to go right here. And you're going to go up here, too. That way we can get you guys both in the same room. Uh, let's see. Can you give her a massage? I want deep tissue for Alessa. That's right. Because <clears throat> your poor wife, she's about to have birth, or give birth, and so she needs something. She needs a little bit of She's a little bit of pampering. Come on. And you're just the guy to do it. So you want to get a massage? No, you want to give one. No, you're not going to. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up here. Get up here and give her a massage. I just canceled it out. I know that. <laughs> Pregnant lady, you got to come back up these stairs. I'm so sorry. See, here I'm trying to pamper you. Now I'm torturing you. <laughs> it's just part of it. Okay. Now, for those of you um, in my immortal hunt, Immortal Dynasty Challenge. I was actually using a fish tank. This is another one that came with, um, it came with, I believe, Sunlit Tides. So, yeah, you can use those fish, and it'll actually make the fish. They'll actually start breeding in there, which I didn't know that until this past week. So, to me, I think that's pretty cool. All right, now she should be getting a really nice moodlet from this. I would hope. <clears throat> that didn't sound good. <laughs> that didn't sound good at all, Alessa. <laughs> David, be careful. You don't want to cross a pregnant woman, trust me. <laughs> she's making some different noises, that's for sure. But, you know, she should be having a good time. She's elated, and we're keeping her happy. That's the whole point. You're supposed to keep their mood as high as, high as you can. And um, so if you do the things like this, then she should actually be okay with it. In just a minute, of course, we'll go back home, because I really don't want to keep them up that late. Oh, wait, this is actually building their energy? I believe it is. Oh, yeah, so see, this is actually boosting their energy. So, yeah, we can stay here and just do this. We don't even have to go to bed. I had no idea. We're buying one of these. <laughs> this is going to be in our house. This nice thing is that two people can get their energy boosted at the same time. you got to love that. <clears throat> Absolutely love it. Okay, I don't know if it does it for all the different massages, but it definitely did it for this one. So we're going to do another one. Go ahead with her real quick. Do another deep tissue massage. Come on. Alessa, we are going to make sure you are completely relaxed. <clears throat> Did you get a moodlet for this? I don't think you do. Um, attractive company? Okay, well, you like that. Loose and limber. All right, so that must be it. All right, so that's good. So you do get a moodlet, and you got to love that. <clears throat> this, I had no idea. This is something I just learned it today. I had no idea that that's what it did, but I am thrilled. You want to have the father read a pregnancy book? Well, guess what, David? <laughs> I hope you like to read because you're about to start reading. <laughs> Let's see. Where's that book at? I think he already wanted to read it anyway. Let's see. Put that in his inventory. Yeah, he already wanted to read it. So we'll get him to do that in just a minute. You go ahead, read this one. And then, Alessa, when you get done, I don't think you can, I don't want you to do this because you'll roll your age back down. But I want you to go ahead and... <clears throat> Can you enjoy anything? You can't do anything at all. Um, you're not hungry, are you? No, you're not hungry. But you can waddle over to the bathroom somewhere. Uh, wherever the bathroom happens uh, to be. 
I love this place. My new favorite place in Monte Vista. And it didn't even come with the town. <clears throat> so, alright. He's going to read the book. She is going to go, I believe the bathrooms are upstairs. So let's take her up real quick. And, yeah, I don't know which one is the guys and which one's the girls. So let's just have her come up here. Use this one. I don't know if you can. <coughs> if you stomp your feet, I'll know that it's wrong. Uh, let's see. No, I don't want to move. Ah, I knew it was kicking. I knew it was getting the wrong thing. All right. <clears throat> I'll just wait and see if you get all upset with me. Are you upset? Lena, yeah, you are. <laughs> see, I don't know. <clears throat> they made it green and orange. I didn't know. <clears throat> I guess I should have thought about it. Okay, you need to get your hygiene up, and the only thing that can actually do that here is that sauna downstairs, but she can't, she can't get in it. Um, I don't think they have the outdoor massage, or the outdoor shower up here in this place, but they might. Let me just take a look real quick. Since it came with some that tides, you would kind of think somebody would have stuck, the person here would have stuck it in here. Um, I don't see it. I may be overlooking it, and you guys might be screaming at me going, hey, it's right there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see it. Um... Maybe it's out here by the pool, since it isn't. Oh, this right there. Alessa, come on out here and take an evil shower. That way you'll at least get that taken care of. And then, David, when you're done reading that book, you want to get another massage? Uh, no, you're going to come up here and take another shower. <coughs> so at least he's found a nice place to sit, and he's all happy as can be. What is this thing? Refreshed? Okay, that's cool. Now, I don't think I would go out and take a shower when the weather's like this, but if she wants to do it, have at it. But it's a beautiful lot. I mean, somebody did this and put a lot of work into it, because trust me, I've been building a little bit here lately, and um, it's not easy. <laughs> it really isn't. Um, I don't do it very often, <clears throat> but when I have to, I enjoy it, but it takes an awful lot of time, because I have to sit there and look at just about every single thing to try to figure out what I want. I don't really need that. <laughs> What is that? I don't know. Well, she's just basically perfect. She's ready to go for the day. So, do you have to work today? No, you got five days off. That's right. You're preg you're pregnant. <laughs> so, you don't have to do anything. All right, let's get you up here. And why don't you go ahead and just um, go turn the waterfall off and then turn it back on. <laughs> and then come up here and why don't you just go wash your hands with evil soap. Is that what it said? Evil soap. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I'm running her back and forth up and down the stairs, so, you know, that is pretty bad of me. Buddy, I need you to go ahead and finish this book. Is it really going to take you that long? I guess it is. Um, I didn't think. I don't think I gave you guys multi-tabs, did I? Did I do it? I didn't do it. Ah, figures. Okay. What in the world? Oh, that's the crackling. Okay. It's kind of crazy. What are you doing? You're just standing there looking insane <laughs> I don't know what you're doing okay can you get a massage from somebody else um, how about acupuncture no nah, nobody else is here that's alright <clears throat> you're gonna go over there and do your soap thing and I ought to make you just practice your speech and that will at least keep you keep you busy for a little while um, practice domination of the world speech <laughs> I don't think there's any other animation for that, but I'd like to see there's it. No. Nah. It'd Ronnie. be great if it did. It'd be what? great if she did like what? something really emphatic with her arms and whatnot. Erski? But you know. I think they kind of do that with the podium Four with university life. David, <laughs> you're not a fast reader, are you? There, oh, man, I had a multi-tab for you, too. You got two of them. Mars Look at like, you. No wonder. <clears throat> I should have had you read it on the multi-tab. That would have been what? much quicker. Belko oh, you got to go teach a logic class. Tansy, mm. And you guys are kind of hungry. Would I want to take you out to eat, lobby, so if you'll I hurry up, I will get you taken care of. Blue is he working today? <clears throat> yeah, he's working. That's all right. I have never seen anybody take this long to read. <laughs> yes, he's taking way too long. She's going to actually level up a... Well, no, she won't. Zimba. And I don't know why you get two plus signs and Bizzle then one plus sign. I don't know what the Lemmy deal is, but maybe it's because of her uh, her mood being so high. Did I don't know. Actually, her mood has dropped a little bit. Lindy. And Lindy. I don't know when she's going to pop. I'm really waiting. I'm hoping that she'll go ahead and give birth pretty quick <clears throat> so we can get started. But we, that means I really got to work on the, the house. And I'm not quite ready to do that. 
Grog. I mean, I am, but I just don't. Wouldn't I don't know if we have. Down. Yeah, we got plenty of money. Blank. We should be okay. Blanker to yeah, you could have called over Jaden, but that's all right. Now that he's done, he's gonna go get himself cleaned up. Yeah, he's hungry. Now the place I was gonna go is actually gonna be. You know what? Actually, did we actually make? I think I fixed up their their house. So I could take them home and let me just go look at the house real quick. So I think I gave them the wood fire oven. I believe I did. <clears throat> I was gonna take them to that little restaurant, but if they've got their oh, they got their own. So yeah, I can bring them over here and then they can actually eat at home. So and that'll be fine. Okay, for some reason I'm frozen. I'll be back in a second. Alright, well, I gotta tell them where they're gonna come. So let's go ahead and have you guys come over here. Go here with your date. You can stop whenever you're ready, because I think he is done admiring him or actually taking care of his shower. Uh not quite. So we'll get him home and get him fed. I definitely want to get one of those massage tables. Now that I know what it does, that is just... I mean, I knew they could get a massage and it was nice and they got a little moodlet, but I didn't know that it would actually um, give you your energy back. That is really cool. All right. You guys are on your way, I think. Um, I better go over there and find out. <clears throat> I see you moving, but I don't know how fast. <laughs> You're standing in the snow. Waiting on your wife, because she's got to waddle down. Well, that's all right. She's out here. She's on her way. Yeah, I could have taken him out to a restaurant, but I probably should have. Let's see. What time does he go? Does he go pretty quick? Nine hours? Tell you what. Let's stop. Where are we at? <clears throat> There's nothing over here. Uh, there is this place over here that I actually put a couple of things, but it's just a cafe. Um, I'd rather go up. If we're going to go to the, um, the place to eat... Let's go to the public pizzeria. We haven't been there yet. So let's do that instead of going home. So hopefully that's where you're going to go. <clears throat> and I don't know which way they're going to travel. I don't know if they're going to go the long way. No telling. I'll be glad when the winter is over because I don't like dealing with snow. I like the towns when they all look with, the, you know, when they have the grass and everything. It just, when it's all white snow, it just looks the same, and I get confused. It's not that I don't like snow, I, I do. It's just I get confused of where I'm at, and I get lost. So when I see grass, for some reason, I'm okay with it. <laughs> not always, but <laughs> it seems to actually work a little bit better for me. Okay, so here we are. We're at this place. Can't see anything because, of course, the snow's covering it all. But it's just a nice little cafe, and I didn't, I don't think I added anything to it. I think I was going to try to, but I didn't. At the very end, I decided not to. All right, David, you're going to go ahead and you're going to serve up some lunch. Go ahead and serve up, oh, garlic bread. I'd like to have some garlic bread right now. And then, Alessa, I'll tell you what, why don't you go ahead and see what your needs are. You're okay. Can you go over here and at least just go to this bathroom? Um, <clears throat> I know you don't really need to, but you might as well. And this snow is just going to have to stop because I can't see anything. <laughs> it's like all the stuff's in my way. I'm trying to get in closer, but you know what? That snow, it just keeps coming down. It should disable when you get to a certain point, but that's a bit much. Lounge. Okay, well, it does when you get inside the building, I guess. All right, and that thing is not actually um, loaded up yet, so hopefully it'll load up soon enough. But you've seen it at our house. All right, Camillo Mancini is having a party. What time is that? It'll be tonight at 6.31. Don't you dare get there at 6.30. 6.31. All right, we'll be there. Haza! Hi, Dawi. Oh, uh, Haza. All right. So tell you what, you did really good. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, are you going to come eat? Go ahead and go grab a plate. I hope you will sit together. You probably won't. You'll probably go to different tables. It tends to happen most of the time in my games, but hopefully not. <clears throat> now, while they're eating, I'm going to wait and see where... <laughs> David. <laughs> That's attractive. Okay, that's really good. All right, finally that thing loaded up. Right. Anyway, while they're doing this, I will spin around and show you that there's really just a big open area. It's a big cafe, but right. there's nobody here, so you just help you. It's all right. self-serve. Um, but we go upstairs. There's nothing up here, but you can use this for anything you want. You can put anything you'd like to put in here, and you, know, you can make it into a club or something, whatever you want to do. Uh, you could actually use this floor up here as well. So you've got plenty of room in this town that if you want to expand and add a few things, and you don't have lots, you do have some rooms in the building so you don't have to recreate anything. Mm. Alright, what are you going to You're going to play the guitar? Alright, well you really ought to go to the bathroom, buddy. Oh, you're going to play for tips? You think your wife is going to give you some money? Oh no, she's not. 
<laughs> She'll watch you, but she's not going to do anything else. Alright, she's actually pretty good. Who's calling you, girl? We have no idea. Now, there's nowhere to actually clean up, so I guess the plates just disappear automatically. So, it's just like magic. Uh, let's see. You want to go ahead and drink something here? Push it. You want to work out? <clears throat> mm, okay, we'll do that. I'm not going to do it tonight. Alright, David just got up to his guitar skill level 2. Well, I think you guys have had a pretty decent date. Um, she needs to go over and go to the, get a massage. You actually... Mm, you need to go to the bathroom. Let's get you to go to the bathroom real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and take you guys home. But the first thing I want to do... Um, I think that massage table, if I'm not mistaken, is not that expensive. I want to look just to, just to make sure. It may be it may be really, really expensive. And I'm thinking that it's under skills and activities or hobbies or something like that. Indoor activities, maybe. Okay. Um, no. Hobbies and skills? Maybe? <laughs> Possibly? Yeah, there it is. And it's 550 Well, that is expensive, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <clears throat> Do you have room in this? Yeah, you got some room up here, don't you? Um, let's put it there. I really don't want it there, but I'm going to put it there. This thing can go over on the side. You should be able to... Ah, uh, you can't go over there because of the dartboard, can you? Well, where can I put that dartboard instead? It can't go on that wall, can it? Yes, it can. I don't like it there, but it can go there. Um, just for now. Just to get it out of the way. Okay, then I can move the dartboard back. Hopefully. Okay, again, it's a puzzle. <laughs> I can't put the puzzle together. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's go downstairs and see if you can put it anywhere down here. I don't think you can. I think we're just kind of out of luck with the dartboard. Unless I want to actually... Hmm. No, it would have been fine there if I would have had room, but I didn't. All right, tell you what. <clears throat> put it that way. I didn't delete it. I just stuck it back upstairs, so it's still where it was. Um, yeah, I'll just leave it. I guess uh, they're not going to use it anytime soon. I just wanted to have a little bit of room. All right, so that's fine. I want them to come home, and what I'd like for them to do is either he's going to give her a massage or she's going to give him one. But they're going to come on over here. Let's see, go here with your date, and then that way you guys will come back home. He needs to get the bathroom done, but I want him to get his energy back up. And she wants to have energy before she goes to this party. Let's see, what do you want to do? Read another book? Can we read the same one? I think you can. I think you can read the same book twice and it still counts. So, all right, why are we watching you? I mean, it's not that thrilling. Okay, let's see. What? Oh, you need to go steal something, girl. It's not time, though. When we go to this house, though, we're going to this party, we're stealing from whoever it is. I don't care if he's our best friend or not. Oh, who's this person? Napapke Burbska. Cipriana Costa. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to do that to a pregnant lady? Yeah, you are just mean, aren't you? She'll remember you. Trust me. She will not forget. It's really pretty. It's a pretty town. I'm finding new favorite objects every single time I play this game. You know, before it was... Um, that brain enhancing machine, which is still one of my favorites, but now that massage table, I had no idea. Here I've been wasting my time trying to make those um, sleeping potions, and this would have been just the easiest thing in the world. I hope it didn't reset ages. No, it didn't reset anybody's age, so they're still at the same point. <clears throat> Alright, buddy. Now that you're home, uh, nope, don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get you in here. Go ahead and give a massage to your wife. Let's do a deep tissue again with Alessa, and that will actually get your energy up. I think all your other needs are fine. Yeah, you're good. So if we can just get that taken care of, Alessa, can you get up those stairs? Yeah. And then hopefully, I don't know. I don't think it took that many that many times for her to get on the table. It didn't take very long, and then she actually had her full energy back up. <clears throat> and he did too. So probably once or twice, and that's about all you need. What time does he leave? He's leaving in, oh, at 9 o'clock. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it looks like it's moving pretty fast. That's faster than going to bed. <laughs> I 
We may just not even be using our beds anytime soon. We may be having oh. massage after massage. This is great. But it is helping her. It's keeping her in a very good mood, and that's what you want. So I don't think I really have any issues with um, having my pregnant sims uh, not having a good pregnancy. They're, they're usually pretty happy. What in the world is that? Garlic breath. <laughs> Love it. Okay, and then what is that? Freshly baked. Okay. So, and we've got that thing. See, look at that. We've only done one massage, and she's almost full. He's not quite there, but he will be. Now, I'm assuming she can give him a massage, too, I believe. And that would be kind of nice for her to do, since she's gotten, what, three or four so far? So she ought to actually re return the favor, even though it's all about her, still. And, of course, this is bumping up that relationship, which it's about as full as it can be. All right, tell you what, why don't you go ahead and give your husband a massage and do the same thing. Nah, we don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> Who is this? It's probably telling us the party's starting. All right, yeah, I know the party's starting, but let's go ahead and do this with your husband. Oh, you're going to get one? <laughs> okay, fine. I was going to let you give one, but that's all right. And I guess you don't have to... Oh, that's not good. Ouch. That had to hurt. <laughs> that had to hurt. Uh, that wasn't good. Oh, she's mad at you now. <laughs> well, you know, can you blame her? Not really. Is he going to come over and do it? Mm, David, what are you doing? I think he's stuck. He's trying to figure out what he's trying to do. Okay, he doesn't know what he's doing. David, come on back up here. We're waiting on you, buddy. No, you're not going to go paint. You're going to go upstairs, and your wife is going to give you a massage. Give a massage. Give deep tissue to David. I don't care about the phone. Leave the phone away. We don't want to talk to Dante. Every time we try to do something, somebody's got to call. No, we don't want to talk. <clears throat> ah, and it knocks you out of this every single time. Give a massage last time. David, come on up. Don't work out. You're driving me nuts. You really are. All right, David, walk up here. This is just, this is comical. I mean, it, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be easy, would it? Come on, get up here, and you do not do anything. I want you to give a massage oh, to David now that he's have? here. No, you're not going to work out. You're going to do what I told you, and you're not going to, or maybe you can't because you're pregnant. No, you can it wouldn't have let me do it if it would have if you couldn't have done it. Man, all this just to get him a little plus twelve or whatever moodlet. <laughs> I tried. You better appreciate it. you know how much this actually stressed me out. Alright, he's going in about an hour. Well he's got plenty of energy and I think she's got plenty of energy. She can do whatever she wants to do while he's gone. Um we're gonna go to the party. Uh, now let's see, attend a party, you've got it. So uh, once this is done, we'll go ahead and go. Oh, it's done. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. Now, it doesn't do anything for hygiene, does it? No, it doesn't do any of that. All right, you didn't get a full energy bar, but that was my fault. Yeah, um... Tell you what, let's do this. Go ahead and cancel the date. That'll work. Okay, Alessa, I'm going to go ahead and find out where this guy lives. And let's see if I can get you to the party, because I canceled you out. Okay, purple thing. Where's it at? Is it up in the main part of town? Yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and just attend the party. David, you're going to go ahead and go on to work. <clears throat> I'm going to send you in early. And that ought to work. Okay, so everybody's got some... Uh-oh! They're not happy? What happened? Um, why did you guys get mad at each other? Did you do something bad? <laughs> I mean, I know the hot stones was bad, but... Did you mess up the relationship that I worked so hard on all day? No. It's still okay. Although your relationship with your boss is a little bit better, and that doesn't really make sense either. Here I work as hard as I can trying to get your relationships bumped up. But no, you guys want to mess me up. Alright, so we're going to this party, and we are going to be a thief. That is my main reason of going to this place. I want to see what nice stuff they have in their house that we can take. And... So be it. Whatever it is, we're going to get it. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to take us a while. For some reason, our car's not going so fast this time. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. It's still going fast, but it's not as fast as it was, I guess. 
All right. I don't know. I have not been in any of these houses except for the one that we were in last episode. So as far as I'm concerned, it's all new stuff. So we get to go see something different. And it's this guy right here. It's kind of a... I don't know if it's really that hard of a house to make. It's pretty simple. Okay. Oh, it's a... Oh, wow. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and roll this thing down. And I like to go from the bottom up. All right, Alessa, let me stop for a minute. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Lots of people. Here's Franco and Camilo. Everybody wearing sunglasses. Uh, we don't really need anything that they have in here, so this is okay. I like their door. Um, yeah, I don't really need any of this stuff because I've got a TV. And let's see, what else we got up here? Mm. You want their stereo? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you want their bookcase or something? Um, don't really need it. We could use their bed, but I'm not going to take it. Um, really, there's nothing that they have that we really need, but that doesn't mean we're not going to steal. So... Go ahead and come on in and just have fun. Do what you gotta do. You might as well go talk to some of these people. There's no garage, is there? Because I'm looking for cars. <clears throat> we could take some of these plants. Go ahead and swipe something right here. Do it right here. I'll take the plants. We can decorate the front of our house. Yeah, there you go. Take them. Alright, so let's go ahead and swipe something else. Oh, what are you going to get? <coughs> Probably this big one. That's I want this one. I want the set. I don't want just the big one. Eh, I just got the big one. Alright, swipe something else. See what you get. <coughs> She'll probably go for that one. How much you want to bet we're going to get that one? <laughs> it figures. That's alright, buddy. We're going to come steal all your plants before the before this episode or this LP's over. We're going to have them all. Yeah, I think you're done now. Alright, so you're good. You can go ahead and go on inside if you want and talk to these people. Alright, go ahead and um, get in here. They don't know that you just stole from them. We need to meet some people here, so go ahead and do a friendly introduction. Let's just introduce ourselves, greet these people. Uh, friendly introduction, so we can have a party eventually. Um, oh, you already know them. You know this guy. You can greet him. And who's she? Alright, so there you go. Didn't make any friends, but you know, we're at least meeting some people, which we needed to do. Who's this guy? Oh, Camilo. Yeah, we should know him since he invited us. <coughs> Alright, so you could actually whip out the guitar if you've got one, which I don't think you do. I think David took it. And that would have actually helped. No, you can take this thing out, though, which I don't know why you still have it. All right, go ahead and start a jam session, and let's see if people will actually pay attention to you. They should, and then that would actually get you some friends. All right, go ahead, guys. <laughs> uh, go on a date with David? We just did. We just went on our date. Now, he's supposed to be groveling to the leader, I think. I think that was all he needed to work on. Oh, no, he needed to elicit you know, activities. Um, yeah. So you go ahead and do that. <coughs> you gonna play? There you go. There you go. So you'll get some friends now. I love this thing because you start playing, they all just stop, they stare, and <laughs> then they pee themselves. So, but you know, it's a pretty good deal. Alright guys, my time is up. So what I'm gonna do, I was hoping she was gonna have the baby tonight. Obviously not. So it looks like we're going to have the baby next time. Um, I may try to work on the house and see if I can't extend it a little bit and get ready for the, um, for the next child, or the only child, um, that we will have. I don't know. We may have more. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking we're only going to have one. But I'll think about doing that before, or maybe I'll just wait until we have the next one so that we can actually see if it's a boy or a girl and how to decorate. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.